All right, jeez. Hello and welcome today. My bad. <laughs> today <laughs> we've got a special one. I already told you about it a little bit, but today we are heading over to the Gen Z night, the first of the year, I think. It is the first of the year, um, and it's gonna be a special one because Circuit Riders is also gonna be there as a part of their Jesus Clubs tour. Yeah. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I got Seth right here in the car. Go! Dude, oh, it's gonna be awesome. There's no reason to be that loud, but okay. Um, so, like I also said, we're also going to be getting content for the project I'm working on tonight, because um, I best believe there's gonna be people jumping around, dancing like crazy. We love to see it, so that's definitely gonna be included in that video that we're working on. But yeah, tonight's gonna be super, super fun. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this ever since I saw their announcement, and I'm super excited I get to take you guys along with me. So let's go. So we just arrived at uh, their farm and right now I'm just gonna go into full b-roll mode So not really much vlogging left to do I'm gonna go ahead and put on my 50 and then we're gonna head in and worship. I'm excited to have some fun. Are you excited? I'm excited, bro. I'm so excited. Here we go. Here we go. Let's, Let's go. do it You pay for You purchase a people with your very own blood Okay, so before we end off today, I know I didn't get much content of um, the event itself, and that's simply because there is a difference between capturing the moment and being present in the moment. And that was just kind of uh, a, a time where I was like, okay, I need to be present in this moment. I mean, it was crazy. Because during pre-service today at work, um, we got a message from our kids pastor and it was about like a discouragement and um, how that can like hinder you from seeing that what God is doing in your life and then the message that we heard at the Gen Z night was like a build on to that when it comes to um, distractions that may be hindering you from seeing what God is doing in your life and uh, disappointments that may be hindering you if you're holding on to those disappointments and things like that. So it, it's just been a crazy, crazy day if I want to be honest. But I have something that I want to challenge you with as well that uh, they challenged us to think about at the Gen Z night. Um, uh, to, uh, they challenged us to think of uh, a few things that we can change to uh, fully commit to Jesus and fully dive into his love. And uh, one of those was distractions. Are there any distractions in your life that may be hindering you from uh, furthering your relationship with God? For me, that was social media. And literally just this night, I deleted all the social media off my phone. Instagram, TikTok, even YouTube. Uh, of course, as you can see, this videos, these videos are still happening. Because I'm making them, I'm editing them, I'm uploading them, but I'm not consuming content. Because that was one of the biggest hindrances for me for 
getting in God's presence, reading the word. And I was always a person who was like, oh, I don't have enough time for the Bible. I can read it later. But I always found myself scrolling on social media and like getting that dopamine hit and then not really getting much out of that. And so the biggest thing for me was social media. So I decided right then and there, right, I'm gonna just start deleting my social media. Um, so I did. Um, so there could be distractions in your life hindering you from uh, furthering your relationship with God. It may be social media, it may be something else. Cut out those distractions in your life. And then another thing was double-mindedness. Are you uh, living for Jesus one moment and then turning uh, back to sin the next? That was another one where I was like, dang, that's also really good. That's me right now. So what you can't be living your life going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You have to pick one. And the one that you should pick is Jesus. You need to keep your your eyes fix on one thing. You can't be going back and forth between sin and Jesus. Think of things in your life that could be hindering you from going closer into your relationship with God, going deeper into your relationship with God. It could be double-mindedness, going back and forth between sin and Jesus. It could be distractions in your life uh, who that could be hindering you from Jesus. Just think of things like that, that uh, could be affecting your relationship with God and change it. So that's my challenge to you. Think of things that could be hindering your relationship with Jesus and fix them immediately. So don't be waiting. Don't dilly dally. Be as close to Jesus as you possibly can and grow in your love for him every single day. Ask Jesus to help you love him more. And the best way to do that is by obeying what he asks you to do. So that's it. That's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Peace out. I hope you learned something. Challenge yourself. See what's hindering you and fix it. Peace out.